Onyx, and we're here in Liberia, west coast of Africa. And we're here to see what the money raised for sport relief can do. And understand why we should get involved. Here's our Blue Peter sport relief report. This is Monrovia, the capital city of Liberia, and it's the most overcrowded part of the country. Nearly 8 out of 10 people living here survive on less than 70 pence a day. This area is known as Slipway. A lot of people here have little or no money. But Kima and her family have found a way to make ends meet. What do you guys do for a living? To sell fish. You sell the fish? Yes. And how many children do you have? I have five children plus my brother children, nine. Nine? Yes. Wow, big family. Yes. <laughs> Time to pay them a visit at home. How are you? Bye. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's pretend we're going to bed. <laughs> Bedtime altogether can be fun, but daily life is often difficult in Slipway. The pumps that supply water here are very unreliable. There are few proper toilets, and for children like Jenny, there isn't enough clean water to go around. If we want to drink, we have to buy water from the shop. I'm worried. The area will make my children sick. I go to the toilet on the riverbank. I go in a plastic bag. Then I throw it in the water. They don't have a toilet. This is where they go. As you can see, there's loads of rubbish. There's loads of sharp things on the floor, which is really, really dangerous. Obviously, this is where they fish as well to eat. And this is also where they dump all, this, all the sewage, really. Nice. Because of this, children are at risk from cholera, whooping cough, pneumonia and meningitis. But many of the diseases here can be prevented by simple vaccines. I wish, be I wish it could be different. I want my children to have a better life. I go to get fish to sell so that there is food to eat and the children can go to school. I don't want them to struggle like me. On the other side of Monrovia is a township called West Point, and this is where Isata lives. Nice to meet you. There are thousands of children here, but there's no secondary school and only one junior school, which families have to pay to attend. <laughs> Do you go to school? No. Why don't you go to school? Mama. My mum does not have enough money. Lots of families in West Point can't afford food, let alone school, and children often end up working instead of studying to help feed their family. Isata makes and sells a ginger drink, and each bag brings in less than a penny. Does she work every day? Yes. Does she sell every day? Every day. Every day? Yes. OK, so then sometimes she doesn't really have time to play if she's tired. No, no, no. no time. OK, no time to play. Around the corner from Misata lives Lucky, whose life was turned upside down by the effects of poor sanitation. Lucky's dad um, died of cholera, um, which was caused from the water I used here. Um, and obviously, him not being here has just left the family with nothing, really. Um, whereabouts do you sleep? Mm. On the floor. Do you have a pillow? No. Or, um, Blanket. I'm a daddy's girl, and poor Lucky doesn't have a dad. He died from cholera, from using dirty water. And the worst thing is that Lucky is still having to use it. But there is hope. You can make a change to the life of children like Isata, Jenny and Lucky. Projects here which receive funding through Sport Relief are helping people get better access to clean water, the right medicines to treat diseases and the chance to go to school. The money you raise for Sport Relief can help to fund projects like the ones we visited today. And help families take the ones we've met to join in the fun and games. Run, swim or cycle for Sport Relief games. Thank, Thank you. you.